Ashwagandha has published scientific studies dating back over 20 years on the US's National Library of Medicine, so its proven effects on health are now quite well documented. What I want to explore in this video are two new studies that were published just a few months ago during 2022 that explore the benefits of ashwagandha specifically for men. In a nutshell, these studies were interested in the sexual enhancement effects of ashwagandha in men and also in the cognitive enhancement effects of ashwagandha. Now, this latter study wasn't specifically engineered to look at the cognitive effects in men, but the study group they used coincidentally ended up consisting of 83% male participants. So we can definitely attribute its findings more closely to men than we can women. So let's dig into each of these studies in turn and discover exactly what benefits they found ashwagandha to deliver for men. The study around ashwagandha's effects on male sexual enhancement was titled The Effect of Standardized Root Extracts of Ashwagandha Within Somnifera on Well-Being and Sexual Performance in Adult Males, a randomized controlled trial. And it used the most well-studied form of ashwagandha throughout the trials, known as KSM-66 ashwagandha, a trademark version of the supplement said to be full spectrum and containing the highest concentrations of root-only extract whilst other unbranded versions of ashwagandha can contain a mix of leaf and root extract, which is argued to be less effective. This was an eight-week, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study where they investigated the aphrodisiac property of ashwagandha root extract in male adults. 50 participants with lower sexual desire were randomly allocated to take 300 milligrams of ashwagandha root extract or placebo capsules twice daily. Outcomes were measured using the Derogatis Questionnaire for Sexual Function in Males, a standardised way of measuring sexual function in quantitative terms. Serum testosterone, serum prolactin and a short form survey of 36 quality of life questions uh, were used during the, uh, the study. Now, before I go on further, any study that's based on the way a participant feels, so for example, assessment via questionnaire, is going to be somewhat flawed since feelings are subjective and differ from one individual to another. That said, this study does also include some more exact and reliable measurements using serum testosterone and prolactin levels as part of the assessment. So these readings, to me, hold more weight and reliability than the findings of the questionnaire or the survey. The findings were that compared to placebo, ashwagandha root extract supplementation was associated with a statistically significant increase in the total derogatis questionnaire scores. The ashwagandha group saw a 40% increase in total questionnaire score compared to a 25% increase in the placebo group. This difference represents an 88.5% probability of superiority of the ashwagandha root supplement compared to the placebo. The areas where the ashwagandha group noticed the biggest impact in relation to the placebo group were in the intensity of orgasms and the level of sexual desire. But the ashwagandha group did outperform the placebo group in all five areas assessed by the questionnaire. Supplementation with ashwagandha was also associated with a statistically significant increase in serum testosterone levels. This rise in the serum testosterone was 17% in, an, in the ashwagandha group compared to 2% changes in the placebo group. However, the prolactin level did not change after intervention in both the ashwagandha and placebo groups. Prolactin, by the way, is a hormone that causes women's breasts to grow and produce milk after childbirth, but men also produce prolactin too, and it helps to regulate reproductive health and sperm production. Too much prolactin is associated with dampened testosterone and estrogen levels, so the fact that prolactin was unaffected by ashwagandha supplementation during this study is important to know, since it shows the increase in testosterone was not the result of a reduction in prolactin, and this is important because too little prolactin can be just as disruptive as too much. On the quality of life survey findings, the most significant improvements were seen in energy levels and emotional well-being when compared to the placebo group. But the ashwagandha group outperformed the placebo group in all six areas of general well-being that were assessed. These findings suggest that ashwagandha demonstrated a significant subjective perception of sexual well-being and assisted in increasing serum testosterone levels in the participants. And just a reminder, this study was based on supplementation of the specific form of ashwagandha called KSM-66. We provided a couple of links in the description of this video below for a couple of trusted brands that offer this form of ashwagandha if you want to check them out. Now onto the cognition study. This was titled Effects of Acute Ashwagandha Ingestion on Cognitive Function. 
The study was based on 13 healthy volunteers that were administered the Berg Wisconsin card sorting Go No Go Sternberg task and psychomotor vigilance task tests, all scientifically, scientifically recognized standardized methods for measuring cognitive performance in various areas. Participants then ingested in a double blind placebo controlled and crossover manner 400 milligrams of a placebo or ashwagandha extract. In this instance, they used a trademark version of ashwagandha called Nuganda, a specialized version of ashwagandha designed to enhance cognitive function specifically. Participants then performed cognitive function tests every hour for six hours. After a four day washout period, volunteers repeated the experiment while receiving the remaining supplement. Analysis revealed that ashwagandha sustained attention by helping maintain reaction times, preventing mental fatigue and remaining vigilant. Conversely, reaction times increased with placebo. In the Berg Wisconsin card sorting test, there was evidence that ashwagandha increased the ability to recognize and shift to a new rule compared with baseline. However, this was not seen when evaluating changes from baseline, suggesting that the differences in baseline values influence the results and not the supplement itself. In the go no go test, ashwagandha ingestion promoted faster response times to respond correctly than placebo, indicating less mental fatigue. However, ashwagandha did not affect accuracy compared to placebo, as interestingly, both treatments decreased the percentage of correct answers. The outcome of the study indicated that the most significant impact that ashwagandha had in regards to cognitive performance was the prevention, or at least the delay of, mental fatigue, and also improved selective measures of executive function, helped sustain attention, and increased short-term working memory. So there you have it, two recent studies from earlier this year that highlight two major areas of potential benefits for ashwagandha supplementation for men. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel using the button below this video. Don't forget to also hit the bell symbol so you can be notified of any new health and wellness videos that we post. Thanks for watching.